Hi folks, my name is Mitch. Just doing another video on a game that I'm currently playing called Guardian Tales. Today I wanted to talk about a new character that recently dropped on Global. Her name is Bianca and whether or not you should summon for her. Uh, just please keep in mind that this is my opinion so take everything that I mentioned here with a grain of salt. If we look at Bianca's kit, it's pretty unique. She's a ranged unit uh, that gives a party buff of 27% chance on critical hits. And with her 5 star ability, whenever she gets hit by an enemy, her attack goes up by 30% for 3 seconds and decreases the enemy's attack by 30% for, uh, I guess, 3 seconds as well, and a 6, six seconds cooldown. Her weapon allows her to increase the attack range of her regular attack and also gives her the ability to restore her HP by 10% of the damage that her regular attack does. So the overall build for her is, a, I guess, a DPS focus build. You want to maximize the damage that she does. So she looks pretty good on paper. Um, my personal opinion is you should summon for her if you're looking for that 50% increase on the event rifts or if you're trying to fill out your um, range team. Uh, she doesn't really provide any uh, great benefits for her to be as your main attacker. Um, the main reason why is if we just take a look at her, her kit in general, we're just going to go to the guild. Uh, the good thing is that her attack is through and it goes through objects. So you don't have to worry about it getting deflected like how um, some like arrows are and everything like that. But the bad thing about her um, ability is the weapon skill. The weapon skill only goes left and right or up and down. It doesn't go diagonal. So if the mob or the target is out of the range uh, just by a slightly, then she's going to miss completely. Um, so that's, that's a pretty negative effect, I guess. Um, if you try to use her in arena, then it's pretty easy to dodge if you just stand at an angle from her. Um, so, and she also has to get really close to you in order to land that hit as well. The regular attack, the range is pretty small. Like it only covers the carpet as you see here. If you charge it up, it goes a little bit further. Um, the bad thing about it is just the fact that she lunges forward and she has a animation pause. So it's very tricky to try to kind of maneuver her. She's going to get caught in a lot of things, especially if the enemy is launching a, a bomb on you, then you might get stuck in that and then you might get hit. So uh, when you use her in general, it's perfectly fine. But the problem is when you try to run her through um, the AI, the AI has a tendency to always or actually most of the time charge before the attack. I will show you that right here. We're gonna go to the Rift. And normally with the Rift units, if I have a 50% unit, which is the main one, along with my Knight, then those two people are pretty successful in clearing level 60 event Rifts. Uh, I did the same thing with Nari. Nari was 63, four stars. Uh, max weapon, uh, max awakening at that time along with my knight and everything was fine when Nari was the lead. If you look at my Bianca, she's uh, kind of in the same boat. She's actually 66 instead of 63 like my Nari. Um, she has a max uh, weapon. Her awakening is not filled out completely. But I did get the main nodes for her. And her attack itself is pretty decent. We're actually going to switch this out to a sharpshooter to give her the most attack. And then we're just going to run this, this rift here. And you can kind of see like how she plays out. So she needs to run up to the mall first. She charges up and then she reduces the attack. So this is why I say that she's not really a main attacker. She's more of an attack support. 
she needs a lot of uh, well she needs some pretty decent help meaning there needs to be a tank in the front like marina for example uh, she also needs a couple of dps in the back to make sure that um, the mobs are all cleaned up she can't do it herself basically if she is uh, needing to do it herself then it does take a while and the good thing about her is again like i said before she's pretty tanky for a ranged unit but again, she has to run really close to the mob in order to get in range to release the attack. Charges up to about 200% from time to time. 100%, 150%. When I auto run this rift, she has a pretty good clearance. Um, there's, no, there's not too much of an issue. Uh, she does fail from time to time and she will get killed but that's not really uh, much to say that's with kind of almost everybody in terms of arena i'll show you that after we're done playing this right here so she's not a meta changer she does have a possibility of a place in arena in the top 100 but she's nothing where she's going to shift everything over. I think Nari was more of a meta changer than, than anything because she pushed out Tinia. Before it was Bari, Tinia, and Marina in the top three for Arena. Let's go to Arena right now. So in terms of top 100, as you see there, someone is using her in the second place but for the most part if you just kind of scroll through it's the same three units there's another bianca there but it's bari nari marina eugene lupina there's another bianca in the top 100. again not where she's going to change the flow of things at this time so like i said summon for her if you're looking for that 50 percent rift bonus buff um, if you're looking to fill out your team like if you had marina bari and nari and you're looking for a another range dps this probably would be beneficial for your team of course there's other options out there uh, such as arabelle but uh, aside from that, I think that's all I have to say for Thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And take care. Until next time.